All right, boys. How's it going? Uh, we only have an hour, so I'm not going to keep you guys too long with these introductions. But uh, I'm Coach Chase. I'm a senior at Menlo College. I'm a two-time All-American, three-time All-Conference Collegiate National Team member. And uh, I'm super excited to get into this middle clinic with you guys. I'm going to pass this off to Coach Conrad. All right. Hey, guys. I'm Coach Conrad. Uh, I was uh, all -American, first time All-American at Stanford and graduated in 2016. I uh, made to the national championship my sophomore year. And then played a couple years abroad in Italy at the Serie A level, as well as a summer of the national team. Sweet. All right, so firstly, we're going to get into a little uh, flow warm-up. We're not going to do a full DROM since we're only working with an hour. So right now, I want all you guys to line up on the baseline here real quick. Stretch. World's greatest stretch. Yeah, this one right here. And go down to the floor. Rotate. Do five of these internally. Now grab the other side of your knee right here. We're gonna do five external rotations. Just like this, you're gonna rotate your hips. Do five inwards. When you're done, stand on up. We're gonna do a quick hinge, hip stretch exercise, hands up. Hinge up the hips, go down. As soon as you grab your ankles, you're gonna squat. Heels still on the floor, butts down to the ground. Hands back up. Repeat eight times. Stretch your hips. If it's too easy, spread your feet apart. All right, ready? Three, two, one, start. As fast as you can. You're taking the charge on block. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're, we're going to take a step to the next thing. We're going to the blocking right away. Uh, the, the, these couple of drills that we're going to start out with are really geared to making you explosive off your first step. So we're going to split up the groups in a second. We're going to walk you through each thing. Uh, first is what Chase is going to do with y'all on bands. I'm going to need one volunteer. You, you're my volunteer. Okay, so you guys are going to be split out. Nope, you're going to be blocking. So go, go to the net like you're going to block. We're gonna go this way since the band's in the way. Get your hands through there. All right, so everyone's gonna be partnered up with the bands. Here you go, you just make your block move. Hard, hard stuff off the right foot and go. Exactly, that's it. That's what you want me to do, right, on this thing? Yeah, so go ahead. You're not gonna be doing the whole block move. All you're gonna be doing is going off your first step and falling forward. Yep. The emphasis here is so you feel tension and you have enough driving force to go to the side. You wanna feel yourself falling forward with your toes. And this is just adding resistance, it's like muscle training. So okay. all you do is take one big step and you're falling yep. over your toes. Emphasis pushing off that foot hard and getting your chest over your left foot. So one thing that David Smith, you know him, national team middle blocker for like at least at least a decade now, is here. His feet are pretty narrow. He's not taking a wide step and keeping the center of gravity inside that left foot. His big thing is he'll almost take a very small step if none, but his big thing is he pushes off that outside foot. So he's that set, it's going back, it's that outside foot that's pushing hard, and you get that tension in the band, and your chest is over your feet. Your head is over your feet, moving to the left side. So we're gonna take we're gonna take groups of eight with Chase doing this. He's gonna probably spread you guys out on that side. The second thing we're gonna do for the rest of y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna take here. The rest of y'all are gonna be with me in line. So I'm I'm gonna send you to that side. The second group is gonna be with me on this side. We're here at the net. And the idea is when we're going pin to pin, especially in tempo, you have to have the mentality that we're sprinting through each side. So again, if the ball's going left, I'm here, I'm here, my hands might be up because it's a free ball, and boom. I'm taking off, and the whole drill is literally going to be taking that first step and sprinting all the way through each sideline, getting you understanding of the mechanics of running through and covering ground fast. Ready? Go. Be still. Go. Hey, these first three guys, I want us to emphasize still that first step being explosive. It's all, a lot of you are here and you're dropping and then making a step. I want you to be locked and loaded so that your only motion that you're thinking about is one direction. Does that make sense? You're not lowering your body, you're not moving, you're not shifting. You gotta think about in that moment, your whole body's focus is going just the direction I point. Okay, go. Good. Go. Go. 
hand position at the net. So when we start, we're, especially if we're in a fast tempo like we are right now, do we want our hands down? No, why not? Yeah, because the, the middle blocker is technically an option here, right? So if you're here and you're low with your hands down and they set the one ball, it takes forever to get your hands up and touch the ball. But if you're here and we're expecting a tempo set from current pass, your hands are up in front of you, even like above your head where you can see your hands. That's just a quick jump up and you can tap to get that block. So in all of our starting positions, I want us to be like, think big, right? We're here, we're taking up space with our hands up. We're like imagining seeing the setter's hands the whole time. You'll be watching me. And then up, you see that ball overhead, boom, running through. All right, so every time we're here, we're loaded, we're still, we're stable, but our hands are up in front of us. And then the next move, you can even use your hands to help. Don't drop them and go. That's momentum in the wrong direction. Our hands are up, and I'm almost shooting them out to where I want to sprint to. Does that make sense? When you guys are landing, you're not going to be going off like Superman. You're not doing a full swing block with middles. If you're doing a full swing block, you have time on a triple block. Honestly, you just keep it 90 degrees here, land, and then that's when you're doing your arm swing. I don't want to see you guys going like this and looking like Naruto. Chest over toes, chest over toes. Keep both feet on the ground, go. Good, it's a little bit harder. Nice. Once you did your eight, put the band back down and then wait for your instructions. When you're doing this, don't kick your left foot here to try to build momentum because you're not going to do this when you take off for a block. You're going to be here, here, instead, here, move. You want to keep your feet and the soles of your, the soles of your feet on the ground at all times, okay? So that way you don't get off, get off balance. Is that all eight for both sides for you? You guys all done? All right, put the bands down. I think these kids like don't even want to listen to what I have to say because this guy played in Italy. <laughs> I'm just like a loser. <laughs> At least I feel like one. Woo! Got him! Remember what we practice with the bands. No guess step. Push harder off your outside foot. Woo! Got him. You grab a ball. All right. Chase and I are going to be up on the band. So imagine, you know, he's there. Toss it. You're going to set it. You're, you're actually going to set it. Chase is going to, but Chase is going to let it go. He'll already have a ball in hand. He's just going to let it go. You guys have to follow the ball, go up, and you're going to block Chase. We're going to reward you hitting, like, if you're doing the right thing. So get out there, close fast, and we're going to be pushing tempo. Get your hands up over early. That's the biggest thing. We're less concerned about how far you close, more concerned about you get out over fast and your hands are over the net. Okay, this is all in tempo, perfect passes. Hey. Good. Hey, ball cart, this side. Here we go. Center, fill in. Hey, set, yep, good. Almost. That's it. Hands over. There it is. Good. Good block touch. Yeah, don't cheat. There you go. Good touch. 
Hey, stay. Middle. Middle. Stay. Good hands. Way to redirect back towards six. That's a touch. And now pins, I know you guys aren't pins, you guys are middles. However, a good block move, if you're gonna recognize a triple, I wanna see you step behind your middle to cover more ground. It doesn't need to look pretty. You guys don't need to do the perfect three or four step block approach. I just need to see you close ground. Go, 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 go. Close, get your shoulders up, hands up at the net, okay? That's a touch, good touch. So as a triple block, as a triple block, you guys have more cover, more space that you're covering, right? That means you can take line, you can take line seam, and you can take angle. I wanna see the pin, get all the way to the line, just about a foot inside, close. I wanna see the middle close, and the other pin close. Okay, take the entire variety. Good block touch. Good touch. So this is how it's gonna go. One guy on this side. Listen up, one guy on this side is gonna to toss a free ball as if it's an overpass. You're gonna take one big step off. You're gonna recognize at first that it's not an overpass tight enough for you to swing. Take one big step off. You're gonna take it with your hands and then you're gonna go into a full transition. Right now you're just hitting ones. We're gonna move into push ones and then moving, moving into back ones. Why are you guys moving? You still need to get over here. We're both gonna do something. Yeah. So yeah, don't uh, hit the ball into your neighboring line. Just Hit wrist away. Get up. Good. Recognize. Take it with your hands. Hands. Oh, higher, put it higher. I don't want you guys to cheat by automatically stepping off because we know we're expecting it. I want you to wait for the ball, recognize that it's a high ball, take one big step off and then toss it. I don't want to hear the slap and then you guys are already off. That's cheating. I wanna hear you, see you stay here. Wait for the ball, recognize it. Take it with your hands, full transition, quick hands, okay? Good, perfect. The ball will go tighter than you think, prioritize height. Good, 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 get up! What's your name? What's your name? Peyton, okay, one tip I can give to you is if, you're, you need to give yourself enough time, like I said earlier, but if you get your left hand up fast enough, it's gonna give you a better swing. If you're just trying to go up and you're cheating yourself by only swinging your right hand, and you leave your left hand down, you take all the power away. So even though, even though it's fast and you feel like you don't have enough time, I wanna see, boom, 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 left hand up and then be ready for the attack, okay? So I wanna see your left hand engaged. No, hands, again, again. Again. Yeah, don't step so far back and get lazy and then drop here. I want to see you just wait for the ball. Take it with your hands. It's so much easier. Shoot it up to the sky and give yourself time. <laughs> Quick. When you're doing this, you're all anxious to attack first. That's why the ball's going in different which ways. It's defense first and then offense. You take your step back. You prioritize a perfect pass to your setter and then you attack and then you want to go for it when you guys get anxious about attacking you guys want to do that first the pass gets off the setter has less options you guys have to move and adjust to a worse set okay so prioritize defense first and then offense later cool
what one other thing to add on defining a perfect path you're prioritizing prioritizing perfect paths he said are you going to normally stand there probably not you're probably actually here right so what happens if i give you a path like that it's like not so bad that's not stuff on the side okay you're going to be backwards up over your shoulders you lose touch the ball so finding a perfect path for middle blockers not necessarily right in the middle of the not necessarily around the center of the head. So the chance is to like lean back, big lean back, he's not in the rhythm. So you can always throw it back over right in the middle of the court. So you know where it's going, you go back, around the center. Pushing him forward, that's going to pull him a lot easier than having him step behind. Okay? So prioritize that for the pass, and you can push him over to the center. So let's go one, one more time through for everybody. Alright, cool. Sit. Those are middle brick hands, man. Lobster claws. Good, yeah. Swam. Good. You're not getting your feet stopped. Your momentum's still taking you this way. Recognize where the ball is, stop, and make sure it's above your head so you're not having to get down here. Okay? Get it? It's just hitting lines, one on one, bounce the ball on the blocker. You guys understand? And then as soon as you hit, you replace the blocker, blocker, you go back in the line. That's how it goes. Okay? All right, line it up, two lines. And give yourself time. Get your space and good pass. Great turn, good turn. Stay off the net, stay off the net. Woo! Stay off the net, stay off the net. Hey, good hands, way to follow. Let's go. Get up, get up, Feet towards your setter. Get to your setter. Get to him, get to him, get to him, get to him. Nice, good. Way to pause. Good turn. We had an hour today, so it wasn't too much to get through, and it might have felt rushed, and there was like a lot of talking, a lot of instruction, but we were just trying to fit in because of availability and stuff. But I really hope you guys all learned something. Did you guys all take something away from it? Yeah. Oh, just half. All right. Cool. That's good. Good. Yeah. But yeah. Go through like just real quick, like two words or less. Something you got better at today. Um. Good. Triple block. Any answer the pen? Triple block. My first step. Triple blocking. blocking. Quick first step. Yeah. Tie me on block. Tie me on block. Setting the middle. Setting the middle. High hands on the block. High hands. Being explosive. Being explosive. Tie me the hit faster. Nice. Explosive blocks. Nice. Hitting. I was in turning. Yep. Following the hitter's hands. Yep. Transitioning to block. Nice. All right. Good work, guys. Nice. Staying in balls, being blocks. All right. Hey, Ben, want to get the break down here? Yep. Let's get a break. MVP.